Let's get your questions answered on the differences between using a grounding rod for our in-home earthing mats versus plugging into an electrical outlet. Okay, so we're gonna start with the grounding rod. So this is literally where you're gonna take that cord from your bed mat and you're gonna run it across your bedroom floor, up your wall and out your window and down the side of your house and into a metal rod that is gonna be driven deeply into the earth's surface. Okay, so there's no question here that this is gonna allow for a pure and uninterrupted flow of electrons between your body and the earth. Using a grounding rod is gonna ensure that effective grounding experience, especially for those of us who might be living in older homes or if we're unsure of the wiring in our homes, and it's going to eliminate any potential concerns you might have around electromagnetic interference from household appliances, but more on this in a minute. All right, it might also be worth mentioning that if you have super dry ground or a dry day for whatever reason, I this is rare, but you could be impacted, your grounding benefits could be impacted slightly, but all you really need to do in that case is just dampen the area around the rod and you'll be good to go with conductivity. Okay, so plugging our mats into an uh, outlet is certainly very convenient, right? Uh, and really, there's no issue here other than just being sure your, your outlet is properly wired. And honestly, any reputable company is gonna provide an outlet tester along with their mat. And if you don't happen to have one, I'm gonna go ahead and provide one in the links below. Okay, back to electromagnetic field and interference. And you may have heard about dirty power circulating through our electrical outlets, suggesting that it could negate or even worse, be harmful to us. Oh, and that you might suddenly become an antenna for non-native electromagnetic fields like 5G and Wi-Fi while grounding indoors. Okay, so research published in reputable journals such as the Journal of Environmental and Public Health, as well as the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine has found no evidence to support the idea that dirty power interferes with our grounding benefits. In fact, research published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine shows like the opposite actually, that grounding actually reduces the body's exposure to non-native electromagnetic fields by providing that pathway for those fields to dissipate harmlessly into the earth. So I'm going to link you to that paper, Effects of Body Voltage and Current in the Presence of Electromagnetic Fields by PhD Richard Brown in the video description below. So now you know.